Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Behind the Likes. We hope that you enjoyed the first episode. We spent a lot of time putting that out. It's me, Winter, and of course... I'm Shy. So we have a really great topic, well, a couple topics Mm. for today. And y'all are about to get the tea, like for real. The tea. We done been going through it. Like literally the... So it's been a rollout. So this is today we're actually filming our second episode, but we just released the first actual episode. So it's just the heightened. uh, What? Excitedness? Excitement. We're so excited. So excited. We're so excited. We're so, we hope y'all love it. We're happy that y'all are tuned in again for the second episode, but it has been a lot of drama Mm -hmm. in the meantime and in between time, getting the shit and stuff together. She told me I can't curse. (laughs) Get the shit, get the stuff. (laughs) Get the stuff. She literally was like, all right, Kiv, I know it's hard, but can we try? Can we try to ease up on the cursing? Mm Because my assistant, Michelle, is editing the cursing out for YouTube. And poor Michelle, she's probably like, these girls are... Potty mouths. They're disgusting. They disgust me. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have been paying attention to my social media, you guys have seen that I have been dealing with a soccer situation, which today I actually f- got my restraining order finalized. So yay. Stay the fuck away from my house <laughs> <laughs> but we just wanted to talk about a, a current event actually that's going on I have the names written down because I wanted to shed light on this because it really is a serious situation and it's just crazy that I'm going through this and mm. another lady unfortunately lost her life because of an ex-boyfriend who showed up to her job kidnapped her and literally killed her her name was patrice wilson and she was a nurse in detroit and the guy who did it was jameer miller and he is still alive so i hope he burns in hell but um (laughs) wait 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 so wait back up real quick so literally where this was this all over twitter or was this where was this at because i know one other is this the same one where the girl had posted the man's number and was like trying to break into her house after she was just like, y'all check on this man because he cheating on me or is this a whole different story? No, I think this is a different story, but I was on Twitter and basically they were like, this is crazy because a few months back, I guess she had posted a video that went viral of him on her ring camera trying to break in and she was like, why are you trying to break into my house? And it was kind of like a joke because Mm -hmm. he could be seen on the camera and then it kind of came back today like, oh my God, he came back and actually actually kidnapped her from work she was at work she was leaving work she was getting off a shift like being a nurse like being a good freaking person and it's just it's just sick out here like these men are truly delusional I'm dealing with it for kind of the first time where somebody knows where I live Mm -hmm. and I posted it and a couple smaller blogs obviously picked it up and you know I'm reading the comments of course and the victim blaming is just crazy. It's literally insane. It's like well why are you telling this man where you live and blah 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 so I just want to tell you guys the story. Should I tell the whole story? Mm -hmm. I think so and I think honestly also shed light on how hard it is to be able to get the protection the help that you need not only from you know So basically, I was starting to record music again. This is, I don't know, maybe like four or five months ago. And keep in mind, at the time, I'm single. So I'm starting to record music again. And I have a friend. And he's like, hey, he's actually an artist. And he's a really good writer. And he's very known. But I'm not going to say his name. He's like, you know, let's get in the studio, da, da, da. So I get in the studio with him. And he has a, he calls him his business partner. He's like, yeah, this is my business partner, blah, blah, blah. He said business partner? Yeah, he said business partner. Well, actually, he said partner. He uh-huh. said partner. So what whatever. Okay. I don't. No, I'm just kidding. Look, I don't know. Shoot, I don't know. But look, so um, we all end up kind of clicking, like, but we click on like a extremely like talk about like spiritual stuff, and you guys probably don't know, but I don't follow like really organized religion, and I'm into a lot of like spiritual stuff, blah blah blah. So we're like connecting on that, and I immediately kind of noticed that he's more spiritual than I am, and my friends like I kind of tell him. What's the first thing I said? I yeah. literally said with the first when she was bringing up, she was talking about how spiritual spiritual he was. I was like, you gotta watch out for them spiritual men. I know, and a lot of people told me that, but I was just you know. I was single and I was bored, honestly. Like, I was single, I was bored, and he was cute, and I stalked his Twitter one day and found out he had a really big dick. So I was like, hmm. (laughs) Okay, we can see, you know, we can see what's going on with this. So, and I was just, look, I, look, I'm, I, 
I'm, I know I'm a woman, but women have needs too. Okay, so I was there's like, there's nothing wrong. With yeah, I'm grown. Women. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm grown. Grown ass woman. I'm grown as hell. So whatever. He's basically like, um, you know, I want to take you out. Blah blah blah. Like I want to get to know you more. Da, and da, nothing da. about him seemed weird. He I, just seemed uh, yeah. extremely. Nothing seemed weird about him. Nothing seemed really weird about him. He just was a spiritual person, and I'm like, yeah. cool. I'm spiritual too. Like I'm not really tripping. And I had already kicked it with him hella times in the studio, so it wasn't like he was a stranger. Like you know. So he had came to my house one night for a game night and mm. whatever that was that. And then the next day he wanted, he was like, oh, let's go on a picnic date. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So that's how he knew where I live from the game night. So he's like, let's go on a picnic. We go on a picnic. Da da da. He shows me this notebook and the notebook, the infamous blue notebook, the infamous blue notebook, y'all. I, I'm going to post this on my Instagram. So y'all got to see this shit. So he has my name written biggest on the top of the damn notebook and like a thousand words underneath this like giant title of winter. And I'm, I pull out my phone. I'm about to take a picture. He's like, Oh no, you don't take a picture of this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but like, I looked at it for like a couple seconds and it was just stuff like, I will fall in love with winter. I want to do this. That's... I want to make love to winter, like, like manifestations, like basically. So, and then like at the top, it had like star chart shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was just like, okay, like whatever. I know he's like hella into his spiritual stuff. But then he started talking about stuff like, I'm God and blah, blah, blah. And like, just like kind of weird stuff. And then he started like, I started noticing he would like tell little lies. He was like, yeah, I own two restaurants in Miami and I own Airbnbs in Miami. And I was like, so how do you get the Airbnbs cleaned if you're never in Miami? And he was like, oh yeah, you know, sometimes I just throw my homies like $50 here and there. And I said, oh, this mm -mm. nigga, he's lying because bitch, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's lying because first of all, that's not even how you do it. You have to hire a whole maid. Like it is not yeah. no, oh, I throw them some money here and there. What you mean here and there, bitch? That so don't even that make was sense. your first red flag? The first red flag for me would have been the notebook and my name and everything. You fuck. And the first time. No. Okay, wait, no, remember she, the real sister like, no, oh, not no remember? Vain. Oh yeah. I mean she's like, oh, why not be in love with me? Of yeah. course. I mean, that makes sense. Like you writing down a whole little story about me, you know. I don't think <laughs> that's too red delusional. Flag was not that. No. I'm my first real red flag, I was with you. Remember that for the oh, yeah, game yeah, night yeah, yeah, he yeah. had tried to tell this elaborate ass lie the about, lie was insane the lie was insane it was like some elaborate ass lie i won't even get into the lie because there's too many details but anyways back to the damn story so after i started noticing that he was just a weirdo after this picnic date i was like all right he getting cut off like you feel me yeah. i'm gonna keep it cool with him because like i gotta be around him i gotta work and do music oh, so with you him. just thought it was the lies that's what really kind of turned yeah, you off yeah i was, was just the like i knew he flag. was lying yeah. i knew I, he was lying about how much money he made i could tell he was broke because his <laughs> dog had like something wrong with it and i was like oh yeah like when are you gonna get that fixed and he was like oh man that's that's like two thousand dollars and i was like just pay that like what are you mm -hmm. talking about like you feel me like i just if know you got airbnbs just pay that yeah, yeah i know like broke mannerisms and then yeah, it just wasn't adding up so i was like i'm gonna keep it cool with him because i gotta be around him for music and stuff but mm -hmm. he was like kind of trying to be cool and i was just like look like it's it's over like don't contact me again like you mm -hmm. feel me like that's it like that's it so Bro, I want to say like two, three weeks goes by. He don't say nothing to me. I'm like, that was cool that he respected it. Like, you know, like I appreciate that because some people do be bugaboos. And I'm like, yeah. I'm happy he just was like, all right, it's straight. Like, you know, yeah. a few weeks later pass and I get a call in the middle of the night from him and I see it and I'm like, oh, no, we're not about to start this. So I just block him. I block mm -hmm. him immediately. I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. I'm grown. By this point, I'm already talking to my now man. I mm -hmm. moved on. I already found the love of my life, y'all. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm like, let me block him. I block him. Two days later, I'm in bed, hang up the phone, hang up the phone, getting ready to go to sleep, turn my phone on D&D, &D, and I get a ring bell notification right before I do it. And I'm like, somebody must be ringing my doorbell mm -hmm. on accident. I check my camera. He's standing outside of my camera with a dog, a, a duffel bag, and he's talking into the camera. It's just the fact that you playing with me and you know, I know what it is and we're meant to be. And like, bro, I, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to call everybody. Shy had just left to New York that day. She mm -hmm. lives across the street from me. So I'm like, I have no idea what to do. I'm trying to call my homies. It's hella late at night. Nobody's answering the phone. So I'm just like, all right, I got to call the police because he wasn't leaving. I gave it like 30 minutes. He wasn't leaving. He ended up out there for like, I don't know. It wasn't even 30 minutes. I probably waited like an hour to call the police. It was a police. long time. And it was really frightening because in the beginning when you did first call me, mm -hmm. 
my first reaction would have been like she didn't say anything she didn't she didn't answer the ring she didn't mm-hmm. say she go because you know the ring bell. i didn't answer and say what do you want like, i just was like i'm gonna act like i'm not home yeah my first reaction would have been like what the fuck do you want but yeah. like and i was like in the fir- at first i was like just ask him what he wants just to see but it turns out i'm glad that you didn't do that because he really was a a psychopath yeah. like he really was a psycho I was like Delusional. no there's no way I'm not saying and, and something yeah. just in me like that woman intuition was like don't say mm-hmm. a thing call the police so I call the police and he starts trying to bang my door down and I'm like oh my god I'm terrified I had my gun at the time because I am licensed to carry but I didn't have any bullets she loves saying that but with no bullets I had no bullets <laughs> y'all I use them at the damn gun range that is hell so <laughs> So at the time, I didn't have any bullets. So I was like, oh, my God, like, I just got to grab my gun, keep it on me. And I had to go walk. So how it is, is my garage door and my front door are like this. So he's banging this door down and I have to sneak past it to go get into my garage. So I take my gun. Oh, wait, before I take my gun, because you guys love Orion, my cat. I had to lock Orion in my room because I was like, if this man breaks in my house, Orion is so friendly that I'm scared he's going to go walk up to him and try to be like, hey like no this is a stalker <laughs> like don't want to have that right so i go literally barricade myself in my garage inside my car lock the car have my gun on the phone with the police are like stay on the phone i'm like he's trying to break my door down like it's just crazy so finally the police come they tell him like she don't want you here you need to get up out of here like this is a warning so he, how long did the police come how long did it take the police come that okay time? so this, this is the first time yeah this is the first time so the first time the police didn't take that long i want to say maybe like 20 minutes which is too long but they didn't take as long as the second time they came they were cool he, they were like yeah, yeah you know like he just probably tripping on you like yeah. whatever like we told him not to come back it's probably going to be fine but we got all his information for you in case you want to uh, get a restraining order on him at that time I'm thinking like he's gonna get it he's gonna understand like I just called the police on you do not yeah. come back to my house so I want to say like an hour after the police left he calls me no caller ID and I answer the phone and I'm like don't ever in your life come back to my house like what the fuck like you're weird as hell like blah, blah, you didn't blah. tell me he called yeah I, I thought I did And anyway, so I'm like, don't ever come back. And he's just like, can I please just get a chance? Like we're meant to be and I'm God and I know. And I'm like, bro, I said, look, you're going to end up behind bars or under the ground. I don't know who you think I am or what you think this is, but I am not the one to play with. Please leave me alone. Like I'm not playing. none. I don't do the pop ups to the crib. I don't I don't play those crazy games because that is how women end up killed. And people take that shit lightly like, oh, yeah, I love toxic men. I love a crazy man who gonna pop up to my house. Don't ever pop up to my house. I don't give a fuck you can send some flowers if it's that serious but other than that do not come to my home especially at damn near one in the morning so anyways after he calls after after he calls like that same night i'm like all right now he really gonna get it i told him no leave me alone the police already told him like it's good i'm gonna be good Mm -hmm. 20 days later 20 days pass and I want to say, well, right after the first incident, I tell my assistant, Michelle, and I'm like, hey, Michelle, like, you know, I just dealt with this like weird ass situation. She said, oh, my God, he's been emailing you. And I thought he was a crazy fan. And I was like, what? And I was like, oh, my God, like this is like actually getting scary. I'm just like, he's probably scared off from the police. 20 days later, 20 days later pass. I just got back from Miami. This is like three days ago, y'all. And uh, it's my first day back home and I'm chilling in the house and I'm I get a ring bell notification. It's 2 p.m. We were on, I was on my way. She was on the way to my house. She lives like less than 60 seconds away. And I check the camera and it's him at my camera. And I'm like, oh my God. I call Shy immediately. I'm like, he's back at my house. Da, da, da. I'm like, I got to call the police. I call the police. When I tell you, they didn't even answer my phone call for probably like 15 minutes. They were like, oh, it's a very busy line right now or something. And I'm Which like- Which is in- actually insane yeah didn't even answer the phone finally when they answer the phone they're like all right we're gonna send somebody over there but we don't know how long it's gonna take da, da, da. so i so when she was telling me that i end up having to since we stay literally right down the mm-hmm. the crazy thing is we stay right down the street from a police station yeah so she's calling me i'm on my way to her house she's like this man just popped up again some she's like the police, and I'm like, the police are not coming so they're go not to coming. the police station so i go to the police station they're all lackadaisical thumb up they ass mm-hmm. literally not doing anything did not care did not care she's they're trying like, to go like follow I'm, me i'm follow like follow me. me do something they're like so ma'am this isn't they like they're giving us just these excuses and it's mm-hmm. just like and we're like we down the a street. woman is in danger yeah. i'm down the street this is my best friend in danger right now yeah. and the man was like well what do you want me to do yeah this is not Good a job. job yeah like they didn't they didn't care so 
so Shy pulls up to my house to like peep if he like, you know, just like kind of peep the scene. And I'm watching the camera. He sees Shy pull up and and he starts walking away. Mm. And I'm like, oh, my God, Shy, he's walking away. I need you to follow him because I need the police to arrest him. I'm mm -hmm. thinking they're going to arrest him if they see him. Yeah. Please go follow him so he don't walk away or run away or like, you know, whatever. So she's following him. And I'm like, just keep following him. Just keep following him. I'm actually really like in my car, glasses on. Yeah. In trying to be incognito, following this man as he's walking down the street walking in the neighborhood. Walking down the street, walking slow as hell, looking crazy with looking the like notebook. Looking like a psychopath. With, with the, the notebook, notebook the that he notebook. wrote about me in. Yes, with the notebook that he wrote about me in. So, bro, like I'm telling you, like 45 minutes pass and the police are still not there. And I'm like, fucking, I'm about to pull up on him. Like, you feel me? Mm. Like, I got to do something. Like, at first I was like, should I bring my gun and try to scare him? But I was like, no, let me not mm. do that. Let me just pull up on him and just be like, you know, cuss him out. Like, whatever. So I skirt up on him. I'm talking, I skirt real hard like she I skirted up because she knew he knew she knew where he was at because i had been following yeah, him she for was like following 30 minutes. so she's like we're right here we're down the street come pull up so i skirt up on him hella hard and i'm like don't ever come back to my fucking house you're weird as fuck when i tell y'all he looked at me like this like a literal smile nothing did it say a did he say didn't one say word. word not one it word was insane not one word and kept like walking slowly like this like this. And I'm like, okay, I'm dealing with a psychopath. Like, yeah. I'm really dealing with a psycho. So I we went to the courthouse. I got the paperwork to file the restraining order. Like, now it's been like two days. Finally got the restraining order, um, temporary restraining order. And it's just like... It's so complicated because this man doesn't have an address that I know of anymore. And they're basically like, oh, well, you got to figure it out and you got to find a way to serve him. Yeah. Like, Can I say something just, that yeah. your mom said? What? No. <laughs> No, yeah, say it, say it, say it. My mom is a mess, bro. Yo, so she's calling her mom, telling her the whole thing or whatever. Her mom busts out. Everybody's thinking it. No, I'm just kidding. When she was like, we don't have no nowhere to serve him. Her yeah. mom's like, all right, you can be honest. Did you fuck a homeless guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, no. It literally, no. it happens to the best of us. Look, I didn't have look, a man look, yeah. grab his toothbrush and his pe PlayStation 2 and try to move in before. You know what I'm I mean? I'm telling you, I said, I said no, mom. And then I said, actually, you I know, know what? Maybe. I could have. I really don't know. Like, it always beat him spiritual, bro, man. Bro, I'm telling you, like, and I just want to, I do want to add, because I, I already told my man this, so I don't care if the world knows. I did have sex with him. I got extremely drunk when we went on that picnic. And See, I didn't know you, you know. You yeah. Like, I'm I just covering him. my own I ass. fucked him, okay? <laughs> and I think that it's because, I don't know if it's because the pussy's too bomb, but like, <laughs> now I have a stalker. No, that's actually not even funny. That's not even funny. I shouldn't even play like that. This is really serious, though. It is. <laughs> but the reason why we even brought it to attention because it's, it's something that's very personal. It's literally... Something mm -hmm. that you're dealing with right now. And then it's why it's a now lot it's of shit scary. going on right like, now. now. And now first, it's scary. Yeah. At first it was just like, what a creep. But now it's like, here's my thing. Here's why I'm scared. I'm not fully scared like, oh, I think like I'm going to be murdered by him. I Wait, mean, I no, I'm just, I'm just saying I'm not scared of that. I'm scared that I'm going to have to do something to him. Like, I a, you know what I mean? What? Was the sex good? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, it I told you, that was the whole reason I was trying to even talk to him. I was just like, this just like a young, like cute guy with a big dick. I'm just going to have a little fun with it. You feel me? Like get my, you know, little groove on. And like it turned into a psychopath. It turned into something completely different. It was never supposed to be that. Like, I swear. So ladies, be careful. Like, don't just be trying to get some dick, y'all. Just recycle. <laughs> this is why I recycle. We talked about this on the last the episode. episode literally. She told me, she talked about all you do is recycle men. Because I don't want to fuck new people. Look what happened. It is not my fault because I'm telling you to <laughs> explore other options. No, this is this is just too much, y'all. But that happened. Got the restraining order. Thank God. Uh, got bullets from my gun now. So please don't come back to my damn house. I don't know what's Do gonna happen. Do not play to you. with her. Do not play I'm with her. I'm telling you, I don't want to take nobody's life. I had pepper spray. Yeah, she was gonna pepper spray him and everything. I was like, should I get out the car and pepper spray him? My man and her were like, no, no. that's illegal. And I was like, all right, let me follow everything by the book because I need all of this documented. Yeah. When something like this happens to you, please, ladies or men, I don't know what it is, document 
you meant this because you don't want to know. He said, she said, I, uh, one time he came and I didn't call the police. Always call the police. Always get it documented. Write it down. Send an email. I don't know what you have to do. But if I would have just thought, oh, no big deal. I don't have to call the police the first time. I would have never had the yeah, first thing true. Um, documented and I wouldn't have probably been able to get my Because I'm that type to not really call the police. I'd be like, oh, he's just a psychopath. And, I'm, leave it alone. and I never I'm used to be. I never used to be. But my mom taught me like, and when I won my first lawsuit, I was like, yeah, you document everything. You won a lawsuit on what? My music. When oh, I got yeah, my I music that. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to that. Cheers. I, Bitch, that is two years old. <laughs> Anyways, she just want to drink. She just wants to drink. Well, don't Cheers mind to that. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's pretty much what's going on with the dang restraining order. I know a lot of people were. Um, and basically to have a paper trail the whole time. Yeah, have a paper, a paper trail, trail and be aware of your motherfucking surroundings and yeah. who you surround yourself with. And yep. the people you invite into your And space. don't just think he got a cutie with a booty and a big dick. Because <laughs> these men be crazy these days. Literally. Like, it's just not worth it. It's just not the same, y'all. It's just not the same. But anyway, since we're talking about like, cutting you know, people cutting off, people off. Literally. And that's a prime example of you cutting somebody off. They were acting like a psycho. Like, you have a time where you had to cut somebody off. It could be a friend, a relationship, anything. You? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yo. First of all, you never cut me off. First of all, that was a mutual no, cutoff. We're going to talk about that today, too. No, y'all, I know y'all want the tea. Be so messy and ready for so it. So messy, but... You'll get it today. No, I'm just kidding. What about, um, have you ever cut anybody? Have I? No, I mean... I feel like when she cuts people off, she eventually lets them back in. I do, because I'm like, I, I understand spaces and breaks and boundaries and this and that. Like, I mean, because I needed my... No, I do. No, she's just an Aquarius and she avoids conflict. No, that's, that's what it not is. true. I don't mind conflict. It's just sometimes it don't be that serious. That's how I feel. Mm. It's never that the conflict isn't always that deep, and it'd be like, oh, maybe they just need some space. I'm very on tune with people going through their own shit. Yeah. So it's just like you going through your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, Peasy, I've had. I knew to, you were gonna say. Peasy. You know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> but we, we, I felt like in that moment that I wasn't in a place where she was at. Yeah. So I was just like, for me. I had to like, I felt like, oh, okay, maybe you need to step back from me. Maybe, right. you know, they have that saying, this is like, not everybody can go where God's taking you. Mm -hmm. And I felt like she was thinking that. So I was like, I'm going to just step back and give you your space. But I love Peasy. Peasy is my sister. Peasy has been yeah, my- Yeah, you guys have been friends for years. Literally been my best friend for years. So mm -hmm. I literally, it was just like, I don't even think it was, it was, I don't even it think was it was a full yeah. year, but I don't remember what it was exactly, but it literally was on some like- we in two different places right now mm -hmm. and either I'm going to catch up to you or you're going to catch up to me or we're going to catch up with each other. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it all happened organically when you match up with somebody again, meet up with somebody again and it's like, when it's really like a sister, a best friend, the right. same with me and you, it yeah. literally is like no time has passed. Well, I feel like with you and I, it was like, well, I mean, you guys know, a lot of people, well, if you don't know, we, me and Shy quit talking for six months, seven months. She kept track. I didn't. I'm just girl, kidding. Girl, please. If I tell y'all no, how was. we got back friends. <laughs> this girl called me boo-hoo crying no, on her no, birthday. No. No. Let's, let's forget about that part. No, no me yeah. and her did quit we talking did. for like six, seven months over, honestly, something not that, I mean, it kind of was serious. It but was serious, but we It wasn't to, like serious, hella serious, like to the point you did something malicious or I did something malicious. Yeah. We didn't do nothing malicious to each other. It just was, she was in a different place, in a new place in her life, and it it kind of affected our, our relationship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were just getting the hang of everything. And yeah. It just kind of shook us up a little bit because we were so close and we just yeah. had to figure out how to, you know, just adjust to adjust, that dynamic like, and, pretty much. But what I feel with the dynamic between me, me and you shifted, it did. But I always knew that I would talk to you again. And you, she was like acting like it was the end of the goddamn world that we would never speak again. And I'm just like, no, because let's just be clear. After what, what the incident that happened, the incident happened pretty much in Jamaica for my birthday. Y'all know we went to Jamaica for my birthday. The incident pretty much happened in Jamaica. After the incident, it wasn't a huge deal, but it was a big deal enough for me to be like, we need to like ha have a conversation. So I sent her this long ass text. I reached out, which I don't even like doing, especially when I feel like I'm not fully in the wrong. So I reached out to her and I was like, hey, you know, this is how I felt here. And I wanted to talk about this. And, you know, can we just have a conversation and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, all right, I'll hit you when I get back from New York never hit me for three months that's not even funny she really did she didn't hit me for three months and i'm supposed to be her best friend i'm supposed to be her sister so, i was wrong for that i was wrong yeah didn't hit me for three months and i was just like okay like at that point i got mad because i'm like you're like you're treating 
me like our friendship and our relationship does not matter so then eventually i reached out to her again after talking to mm -hmm. friends after talking to friends i reached out to her again and i said you because it bothered me my heart was broken like i genuinely my heart was broken i lost my best friend that was the same year that one of my close friends kayla passed away that was the same uh, that was around the same time when I had to cut off my other best friend because she was a weirdo. And I was like, I hate that me and Shy aren't talking because I really just am in, I need her right now. Like, you know, and it just hurt that I was like reaching out. So one day we we decided, okay, after I reached out to for, for the second time, we we're like, all right, let's link up and talk. I was a little tipsy. She was a little tipsy. We met up at it a freaking hookah bar. It didn't go as planned. We both left crying, basically. <laughs> we both left crying. Didn't work out. She said some mean ass stuff to me. And I didn't say no mean ass stuff to oh her. Oh my, are you serious? I really didn't, y'all. Y'all, I did not say nothing mean. I did not say so nothing mean, and you did. So What did I say that was mean? I'm not going to say. I'm not You're holding say. that against me still. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> No, because you go say no, shit no, no, because really she was, she was, it was, see, this is the thing that really got us in the beginning because it's like, we both didn't really take accountability for the, the parts that we played. And now looking back at it, I should have approached you and I should have reached out as soon as I left New York, as soon as, soon as I got back. Yeah. I should have done that. I should have done that. Been, I feel like it could have been a convo but, and yeah, a talk. It could have been, but to me, the more, like, you know how sometimes when you think about things, you see like, like every time I thought about it. I would think of something else that kind of pissed me off a little bit more. I'd be like, no, that's like, you know but what I'm that, saying? And that's, but that's the other thing. But that thing. could have happened with communication. I, it could have been clear with yeah, communication. Because so that was my, my fault. From my perspective, I didn't know anything she could have possibly been upset at. Anything at all that she could have possibly and been upset crazy, at. And that's crazy because you knew when you was being petty. Bro, petty because of what you did. What I did? Yes. Oh, not we about to rehash this damn fight. <laughs> <laughs> what I did? <laughs> Anyways, but so eventually she had her birthday and she called me the next day and she told me that she was crying in the club and that I cried in the bathroom. She cried in the club in the bathroom and she was like, I just miss you and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like. Because it was weird to not I wanted celebrate to low-key be petty and be like. I'll call you when I get back from New York. But I was just like, this has gone on long enough. Like, this has gone on long enough. Like, you know, and I did miss her. Like, you know, it just always felt wrong. And everybody yeah, around us everybody knew it. Everybody always said the same thing. Everybody around us knew it. They were all like, you know, when are you guys going to talk? And when you guys, oh, you need to try to work this out. And we love you guys together. And you guys are too good for this. And it was, it was even harder hearing how much other people loved our relationship because it was like, well, she don't care. So why do you care? Like, that's how I felt. Kind of. It wasn't it wasn't that I didn't care. It was that I just. OK, and you know what I'm noticing, even working with this podcast with you uh -huh. is that you are very like and I love that about her because I'm completely opposite. Mm -hmm. I really am like, and yeah. you know, what? I really have a hard time like focusing sometimes to really yeah. just you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very like <laughs> punctual, blunt, like just do straight it, to the point. And me, forward, I'm just yeah. like, mm. She's very lollygaggy Aquarius. That's not true, but she maybe is. a little bit. But it is like that. And it really, the way it bothered me is that you can't, like, well, it was personal, so never mind. I'll take that back. But <laughs> I'm <just> burping too. <laughs> but it's just that Look, this I, how really, I feel about it. <laughs> and I got one bigger. <laughs> that's pathetic. Um, but to me, it was just like, I never felt like I'm like done with winter for the rest of my life i was like oh, right. we just need a little break we got two persons yeah but we could have just quick, we could close. have if you have a friend that you genuinely love and care about you don't just in your mind say oh i'll get to it later you say i care about this relationship and like, if we need a break i'm gonna tell you I we need a break like it was disrespectful <laughs> i felt like I, this I was is dis why we don't talk about this we don't talk about look, this and they're gonna be like in the comments y'all never be friends y'all never be friends Right. Look, it's no. just like a sisterly like quarrel that it we really have. is. It's a love quarrel. It yeah. really is. But it's, at the end of the day, I feel like we both respect. If each people knew really what this is about. They're going to be like, this is so stupid. Yeah. Honestly. No, it's all about just at the end of the day. I feel like we both respect each other enough yeah. to know each other's boundaries now and to understand yeah. that how we work and how we work with each other and how we work with other people. And that's mm -hmm. just the yeah. biggest thing. Once you understand somebody Definitely. fully, yeah. I feel like I know when, like, I even, feel like I 100% agree with that. It's a big thing to do with boundaries. With boundaries. And, yeah. <laughs> and I feel the same. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to talk what? about it. <laughs> It's a big thing. Yeah, you're right. I wasn't even trying to be petty. Oh. 
kind of i look i kind of was trying to be petty yeah but anyway you said it i just reiterated but no it is true like once you really fully understand we understand each other on a different level now and it's just when you get to know each other on a not even just a personal level on just a level of like being with somebody else or being yeah. with it's hard for me. I have a lot of close people in my life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? She has a lot of close friends. I have a lot of, not even close friends. I have four older sisters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I have my, yeah. I'm close with my family. I'm close with a lot of people. So it's just like me balancing all that out sometimes. And like me and Winter were just, I was just like, it was. I would get frustrated because I'm like, they understand. Why are you not understanding certain, you know, like certain mm -hmm. things? And I'm just like, I because why would I understand something that I you didn't, never said? But I didn't understand about? her. Like, like I was telling you with your friend. You can't. Day. No, here's the thing. You can't expect oh, anybody to understand that you do not communicate. That's not. True. I'm sorry, babe. Nobody's is, a mind reader. Let's get back to the subject. Okay, but the subject is no. Let's get back to the subject. Hold on, now y'all show to my be... hand because this. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> No, the the thing is though, basically what I was trying to say, she's talking about I'm not a mind reader. But the thing this is This is why we don't talk about this, y'all. Do you see how long this has been going on? This has been going on for 15 minutes. We need to move forward. Basically, long story short, we're good now. It's really so dumb. This is over a year old. This is almost two years old. Yeah, and it seems like you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so Bro, what is it? <laughs> it never ends every time we talk about it. We have no like it's just so dumb whatever long story short we good now it's fine we know how to communicate we know how to have boundaries we love each other we do and we, we ain't, figured we, we ain't figured it each out. other right we figured yeah, it we out, figured out. So, we locked in if we locked in ain't the no reason up. why we don't the reason why it's hard for us to like talk about it on camera is because we don't want all of our business out there yeah, exactly so to, to us we try to like dance around it and then it's like it's like it's all it's like ongoing i'm almost like tell them what it is then yeah like i, I mean no we could no 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 <laughs> I don't mind telling. I don't mind saying what happened. But no, we're not gonna. So let's just get back to the to creating and maintaining friendships. Yeah. We're, well, like, okay. So yeah, we all. So how do we maintain it? No, but it's like as the influencer though. Oh yeah, shit. Oh yeah. Like. Oh, that's why I didn't read that part. Yeah. Like, is it hard creating and maintaining friendships as an influencer? Well, you could say that. That's more so you because a lot of people will be around you just because what you can get or you uh, yeah. utilize you for what you can do or which yeah. you're accessible to. I would definitely say it's hard having genuine friends as an influencer. I do not. I don't. You guys probably noticed, but I really am not friends with any industry people like at all. Like, I mean, I'm, I could say hi to people when I go out in L.A. Like, you know, I know a lot of people in L.A. I've lived here for 10 years, but I'm not the type of person. I'm not taking pictures with you, posting it up like we're not friends. I'm not about to act like you my bro. Like I <clears throat> my friends are real people, real. I have real genuine people in my circle and yeah, it gets weird. I mean, shit, when my best friend that I had to cut off last year. What are you smiling for? Let's talk about it. <laughs> what? Are you going to talk about? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I was. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm going to talk about it. No, let because, me talk about no, it. No, let me tell you something. What people, what, what bothered me, people, when I first started like really like hanging with you like that, people mm -hmm. would always tell me she don't keep friends longer. She yeah. don't do this longer. She be b like blasting, which I honestly don't agree with I feel mm -hmm. like when you're not friends with somebody you keep it in your circle of friendship mm -hmm. but I'm like I can't imagine being on your live and people mm -hmm. asking you constantly about somebody yeah. consistently it's just the thing is is that people be in my business that's yeah. what it is so you be having to clear it up or clarify and it's just, and so I don't I even put that, nobody but... I don't put people on blast there's so many girls that I could put on blast about what they have done and what they Name have them. said I'm, I'm just well, I'm close no but like <laughs> I just don't like when people like say negative people just say negative sh about me because they feel like they can. They just mm -hmm. want to have something to say. You don't know anything about me. And th and because you don't know anything about me, you make up a narrative in your head and you run with it and you're delusional. And really, you have a, fi a fan mindset. You look at blogs, you feed into negativity that is posted about people that you do not know. I've never had that mindset. I've never been mm -hmm. a fan of anybody. I've never looked up to celebrities. I've never made Wait, my so I I've never made assumptions of people based off of their status online. So when people make those negative assumptions about me, I'm like, you don't even know me. You're making up assumptions based off of nothing. No, and I'm saying when you have these arguments with these people that were your friend or like mm -hmm. the girl, I, I can give one example when, because we did this on the cake one, mm -hmm. uh, Danielle. Oh, Danny. When you, Danny, what's her name? My I don't know. Danny. Yeah. Danny, yeah, when you had a- I kept a lot of that private for a long time. Were y'all 
Because I think I came at the end of that friendship. Were y'all friends for a long time? No, not not hella long. We were mm-hmm. friends for like a... She did Bad Girls Club as well. Okay. So we kind of knew each other like from that. We lived down the street from each other. We became friends. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of red flags about her in the friendship. And we didn't even end on a bad note. It was just kind of more so I felt like... And she like, went to social media first. Yes. Yeah, and I, I just felt like I don't feel like this is a healthy friendship for me. Like yeah. I can't be friends with you because you're doing a lot of weird schizo shit and I cannot be involved in that like you're a liability to me at this point yeah. and she took me just trying to I tried to friendly back away from from it I do remember that yes and I, I was do. like look I don't want to make no problems with this girl because I know how she is and she ran to the internet for a year and that's where we go back to maintaining friendships as an influencer that's what I feel like it boils down to when people yeah. want to get clout or want to be able to like but you know not even, it's not even just that though because it boil it really it, it, it affects your friendships that you may have even had for years because the best friend that I had that I had to cut off last year I had I knew her for 10 years and when she when me and her quit talking it was because basically she went behind my back and she was talking to a man that I had dealings with for years and she lied to me about it snuck behind my back and did some trifling shit basically and when I confronted her about it and told her how bad that hurt me, because this is somebody I would cry to her about, like be like, mm. this ruined my love life. Yeah, this everybody ruined- knows about that, yeah. that one. Yeah. This ruined my, this ruined how I perceived relationships. And she would sit there and listen while simultaneously be talking to him on social media. And I didn't, I didn't even find out until, until she told me when she was drunk in a spiteful way, she told mm. me in a spiteful ass way. Oh, well, so-and-so I'd be talking to him all the time. And I was like, Oh, really okay and from that she would I could have been him and and she was like well you don't know how you make me feel you make me feel small she said that to me she said Mm. you make me feel small and I said what I said I make you feel small I said that's never been my intentions when have I made you feel small and at that moment it clicked to me every single time she would say something and wasn't genuine about my happiness wasn't happy about my accomplishments or would brush off things like about my looks or something like if I would Mm -hmm. be like oh like does this look okay does this look cute or what do you think about this she would just be a salty I would peep it but I would be like Mm -hmm. You know, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's just kind of just clock it as being like that's some weird shit. Yeah, I don't know. So it is hard to keep relationships when people have. At the end of the day, people do have internal jealousy. I talk about it on the last podcast. People really be jealous, and especially if you have. That's why I have such a small group of friends because girls are weird. They're jealous. They try to compete every time I'm friends with a girl who's an influencer or something like that. She thinks it's a competition, mm. and I'm like, I can't be in competition with my friends. That's yeah. just not how my mind works. It just does not work that way. It will never work that way. There's so much room and so much light to shine for every single woman. It just does not. Whatever you do does not dim my light at all. Yeah. And it's like, if anything, I want to uplift my friends. I want to yeah. support my friends. I want to validate my friends. Anytime I see you, I'm like, beautiful, loving, yeah. grace, love. And that's how I know when my friends are real. Because I can tell, like, how my friends love me and support me and care about. Just I just know when it's genuine. Like, yeah. you know, I can tell. And that's why it's just like, I don't even care to have none of you bitches in my life. Because I don't need no friends. Yeah. I, got, I got enough. Like, so I cool. have a question. And I've been called out on this before. Not with you, but with other friends. Oh, maybe you have called me out before too, but I literally, somebody said this is some fair weather sh-. What does that mean? Fair weather mean like you go and go with the where, wherever the weather goes. Oh. But mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not fake. But I literally, I be feeling like sometimes situations, if it's, if it's not something like she f- my man, I had to, or she f my man, I had to beat her as it's not, I, I don't. Okay, so how am I trying to explain this? So I basically feel like I don't be cutting. Like if it's not that serious, I'm not gonna like. Cut no, 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 you no, no, no. With the yeah, like no. as a middleman. As a middleman, yeah, like I get that's you mean. your. So say that's your friend. Yeah. And I knew her through you. Yeah. And you stopped talking to her. Yeah. Are and you people upset? want you to be like, well, she did this to me, so cut her off. Yeah. So are and you you're like, upset? well, she didn't do nothing that bad. Yeah. Like, so are you? Would you be upset? Like, okay, say for instance, the. Oh, yeah. Like, we have situations where I've cut people off and I like, you know, she'll stay OK and cordial with them. Here's my thing. I you're a grown ass woman. Mm-hmm. I just feel like you're my best friend and I feel like you can make those decisions on your own. Do I like it? No, I don't like that you stay cool with these people. But also 
you're a grown woman. You have your own yeah. mind and you can make your own decisions. This is not high school. I can't tell nobody, well, don't be friends with her. And I and I love that logic and I love that thought process because at the end of the day, sometimes these friendships do rekindle and I'm the one in the background looking mm -hmm. stupid like, well, I got beef with her and you cool with her. You know what I'm right. saying? Because I've been in both predicaments right. where it's like, I don't I'm think going to war with somebody. I don't somebody. think that it's wrong that like you are cordial with people, but yeah. if you know something went on with me and you know like the situation no i don't want you to be close friends y'all don't need to be kicking it i'm not close friends with no like, i know no, you know what i'm saying that's but why Bijan i don't care for sure one time was like i got beef for her you got beef for her straight up and i yeah. was just like i guess i got beef I, with her I, all right i'm like look i guess i got <laughs> some beef with her then i used to be like that when i was younger and I, my like friend when i was younger like my friends i would be like if i don't fuck with her you don't fuck with her but now i'm just like you know what everybody do you and i just you know if you were like close friends with somebody who i cut off Oh, I definitely take a back seat. But yeah. but you know but, everything that goes on. Like yeah. if I'm ever like super wrong, like But it's yeah. like what type of what type of woman? Because I'm about to say bitch. What type of woman <laughs> would I be to allow anyone to talk about my friends in a yeah. character that isn't fitting? Like yeah. I'm like like I have other best friends that maybe you know what I'm saying? But there's no more liquor. You drank but, it all? It was a full You're a crackhead. Anyways. What? We both had a full cup. I know. But um so like there's I would I would think of myself as less if I were to be like if I were to let anybody talk about anybody that I'm cool with. Yeah. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, I would hope people would always know that regardless of the right. situations or circumstances, it would never be that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like there's been times where like I've like not I've quit talking to people and child will be like, Oh yeah, I saw so and so out and She I literally was hi. like, Oh, I didn't know you still talk to them. I'm like, Well Yeah. I don't, I don't really I don't really care. Honestly, like it is what it is. I mean, as long as they know what it is with me. I'm not about to be beefing with the whole city. You don't gotta beef with nobody. I'm not beef with nobody. I don't have beef with a singular soul. You're just not a part of my life. It's that yeah. simple. I don't know. If and that's what women don't, that's what people don't realize anymore. Though. It's just like, we don't got to be beefing. Like, yeah. we just can go our separate ways. I don't ways. need to mug you. I don't need to have a problem with you unless you, I mean, even if you do something super trifling to me, I'm just at the age, I'm not fighting no more. Like, yeah, before when I was younger, it was like, oh, she did this. I'm definitely beating her up. Like, I used to be crazy. I, I used to do things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, when I see her, it's up. But now I'm just like, even if I see you and you do something trifling, that's something that you that's that's something that you have as a character trait that i don't even have and like honestly you just kind of suck at life because you're a terrible person so yeah. oh well I already lose so i i don't need to put my hands on you i'm not doing all that i'm calling 911 facts <laughs> I, I i i agree with that yeah i'm not doing all that fighting stuff no more that's a, i don't do that you guys please write that down because y'all be trying to have me do all these raggedy ass shows and have me on tv fighting please get get real but um Growing out of friendships, <laughs> growing out of friendships and really that we kind of just talked about that. That's like the same thing. Making friends as an adult. Oh, well, I mean, but yeah, kind of making friends as an adult, honestly, is different, too, because oh, if yeah. I were to move, I don't want to make any new friends. I really don't. Oh, I know. That I don't is, want any new friends. I think about that, too, because I do kind of I, I do see myself eventually moving out of Los Angeles. And I'm just like, <laughs> ew, making new friends as an adult, like. I just met, have no friends in my city and just have to visit my friends when yeah, I see them. Yeah, and I feel the exact same way because it's it's so rare and raw to come by now. It's just I don't I don't want to deal with the 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 pain. Like I don't want to be the first person making friends. She's I like, am. I have a new friend. I, I made the club. <laughs> like it's just something. She's gonna have friends. I probably won't have any friends, but she no, will make new friends. No, my close selected few of friends. I got too many already. I can't. Keep Her close anymore. select. She has like ten best friends, y'all. I swear on everything. She has like ten best friends. They're family now. Yeah. I mean, it is like a family, so it's like whatever, but... So I mean, you don't agree with making friends as an adult? I don't disagree with We are with adult friends. We're yeah. an adult friendship. I, yeah, we are. We were adults when we became friends. I don't disagree. Even though I've known you for like seven years, yeah. we were like, a, we became an adult close friendship. Yeah. I don't disagree with adult friendships, but I also feel like... I'll give you a chance, and if I, I just recently, let not, no, I was just about wait, to you'll be making the, you'll be like, oh, I found this girl. That, that was I, that, one time, yeah, one time, and I decided that she just wasn't a match for me, a friend match, and I was just like, you know, she's just not for me, and yeah. I made it sucks, because we did connect on levels, and like, she could have been cool, but she was just a little too much for me, and I was like, look, you're doing too much. Was that because you're what? an influencer? No, it wasn't because I'm an influencer. It was because... Was she an influencer too? I think our personalities just didn't mesh. Didn't mesh? No, because I know myself. I know I can't be friends with somebody who has a smart ass mouth because I'm not arguing with my... I don't want to argue with oh, my friends. Oh, you mean like as in like... What you mean like as in just like... 
Rebuttal I, to everything you say. Don't, te- a don't take a joke. Rebuttal to things that I say. Can't take a joke. Trying to argue me down. Yeah. Like, I can't be friends with a bitch that because it's only i'm a Taurus and i hate to blame it on my zodiac but it's only so much i can take i i'm the type of person that will sit there and take it and take it and take it and then blow up on you and have you being like you're acting crazy no i just put all of this on the back burner and now i'm blowing up on you and that's how in the past i have ended up putting my hands on people that i was friends (laughs) with so i know the signs when it's like this is not somebody that's good for you. You need to. I'm only friends with people who I don't bicker with. Like, and I completely disagree with putting your hands on somebody that you yeah. are friends with. I am so. If I gotta put my hands on my, I've I have four older sisters, y'all. I have yeah. never put a hand on one of my sisters. If I have to fight you, you are literally dead to me. Yeah. If I have to fight my friend, like it's definitely dead. And like, but the times that I have fought a friend is like it was like. A friend who would, I remember one time I had a, I had a best friend for years on and off and we always lived together. We used to always argue. And every time we would argue, she would say, so what's up? So what's up? (laughs) And I would be like, I'm not trying to fight you. Like, I don't want to fight my close friend. But it's like, stop stop playing with me. So it came to a point where it was like, this is like four years deep. And it was just one of them times that I was just like. All right, so what's up? And y'all she ended like up getting men. beat up. Men with, always fight. Y'all, we was in that house fighting for two days straight. Don't ever fight nobody you live with. Don't ever fight nobody you live with. Y'all was blood in the kitchen. We were fighting, <laughs> scrapping. Her sister came <laughs> to the house. My friend came to the house. It was a brawl. I still have a scar right here. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Like, we were in there fighting to the death. That and it was hilarious. just, no. don't fight your friends, please. Yeah, I would no. not be back friends with a girl who I, who I yeah, fight. Yeah, no, I'm like, no. I'm not, and I've been in a situation where somebody has been like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I don't. Like trying to buck up? Yeah, oh, I like, remember. I, I was there. I was there. Do you remember? No, that wasn't you. That was. Yeah, that wasn't me. That was your two other best friends about to fight. Remember that night at your house? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, ooh, it's getting ghetto, y'all. It was getting ghetto. They were about to fight. Oh, no, yeah. And then you said she was bucking up on me a little bit, too. And I was just like, hold Yeah, up. she was. Bu- her friend was bucking up on her. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And I was like, hold up. We, this is what we don't do. This yeah. is what we're not about to do. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't. Do, I'm not doing shit like that. If I've lived with women all of my life, yeah. you, I'm, and I've never put my hands. Well, my sister punched me in the nose one time because I threw a piece of cheese at her. <laughs> but that's the only thing. You know what I'm saying? But yes. other than that, I don't deal with I don't deal with that type of yeah. stuff. Like, if I got to hit you, I don't need you in my life. You yeah. like, I hate bickering with friends. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. My name all day. Yeah. I don't need to be bickering with women. I'm not trying to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying yeah, to. Argue. No. If we just don't mesh, we just don't. We mesh. just don't mesh. Even now, like now that I'm, I'm at this age where it's like, even sometimes if I have, because I have some friends that are younger than me, and I'll notice my friends will get this little attitude and like you know that young little like try to, uh, well, what are you talking like you know type yeah. thing, and I'll just be like, you got it. You like, you know, it. I'm just grown now. Like I'm not. I, I'm gonna let you have your little attitude. We gonna let it simmer down. If because if I like re like answer back to that if i react to that and like come back like oh i could come back with attitude harder it's just gonna keep going and getting bigger i'm just gonna like let you have your moment i know you're a young woman and you want to have your little ego yeah you want to have your little ego i'm gonna let you have your ego i'm gonna let anybody have their ego but when it comes down to it just know I'll beat you, you up. Know no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You I'm just joking. But we also are going to talk about rekindling friendships, which we just pretty much talked yeah, about. Yeah, we just we're here right now. Yeah, we rekindle it. We got all we're damn near yeah. business partners right now. Yeah, I damn near girl. We are. We but are. I I think that you know there are some relationships that aren't worth rekindling. If you have a relationship that you constantly are bickering in and constantly you know just have you know, negativity towards each other, just let it go. But if you genuinely love somebody as like your family and like, you know, this is my friend and it's hurting you to have problems with them, always rekindle things because you don't want to regret not working things out with your friend. Life is short and you know, and I, and I, and I'll second that because I honestly do agree. I really did. Even if winter in my head was like, not, forget her mm-hmm. you lint liquor because i'm trying not to curse <laughs> i still always thought about you you yeah. know what i'm saying so oh, it's yeah, just I like you know you all the like, time i literally was like oh. that was the hardest part i so, think yeah and so it's just like yeah. it was no point in like holding on to like anything that was just irrelevant i thought i knew it was something that we could work through and i knew that it was both of our like you know what i'm saying so yeah. i just felt like if Definitely. it's worth it if it's Something that you see as a friendship and a family and like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then why not? And somebody that you know genuinely loves you, genu- ha- genuinely has your best interest exactly. at heart. You can feel the difference. You can feel yeah, the difference. You know. Like 100%, you will know. But um, 
Anyways, guys, um, we just, I mean, we hope that you guys liked the podcast today. We got to get into the advice segment. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We got some advice. Let's back it up like a dump truck. Hold on. Y'all, we got the advice segment right here. So we got to get into some advice. So always send some at, at the um, end of these. Send, some, send your advice. You can send it on Please. YouTube, Ooh. Patreon. You know what? Actually, if you guys have advice that you want, we would actually appreciate if you left a comment on the YouTube with your advice. Right? Or is that too Our public? Patreon. Sometimes we look at the Patreon that. the most. <laughs> Please subscribe to our Patreon, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we really need you to subscribe. <laughs> wink, wink. We I was like, huh? huh? I'm confused. <laughs> um, so in honor of Pride Month. Or they, they don't want their advice to be oh, on Oh, we're the, not talking about that. Yeah, no, not that one. You know that. She you wants to have a whole convo about gay stuff. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, advice segment. This is from... No, we got to tell them where to put it because sometimes they may not want to be able to put their stuff out. Send us a DM. Me, our um, winner. Or Behind the Likes itself. Behind the Likes podcast. Send it. Yeah, send, send it, it to the, to the Behind, Behind the, the Likes, likes pod. pod. Behind, Behind the Likes <laughs> P-O-D. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We had some champagne today. We were celebrating the damn first episode. And it's hot in here. It's hot as hell. But all right. Um, this is from Corey Saucedo. Maybe they mean, Yeah. I wish we had a drum roll. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. He said, here's my story. So I am engaged. We've been engaged for a year now. As we're starting to plan the wedding, some drama has happened. One of my bridesmaids doesn't want to be in the wedding. And then I had to stop being friends with one of my bridesmaids because my fiance doesn't like her. What do I do? Because now I have no wedding party. Is it worth it? Am I being controlled? Well, I'm confused. So he basically had to quit being friends with two of his bridesmaids. Okay. For what? Read it again. Cause what his man don't like one of the bridesmaids, and one of the bridesmaids. Oh, you know oh, what confused me? It was Corey. Okay, Corey. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, he's gay. <laughs> it's Pride Month. She always yes, he's gay. He has a husband. They're getting married. We're in California. That is legal. No, no, no. I didn't say no, no, no. I support everything, but I was just I was confused for a second. I was like, wait, hold on. What is it, Corey? Cause Corey, I have my my nephew has his. Is it a boy? Uh, my nephew's what if it's a girl girlfriend is name is Corey, so I'm confused. It's a man. It's he's a man. A man. Okay. Yeah. So he's getting married. All right. Here, okay. Here's my thing. If your man is making you fall out with multiple friends, your man may be the problem. That's Low my key. advice. Yeah, that's my advice. I agree with that too because sometimes, yeah. um, yeah. go ahead, speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it then. Look, no, no, no. But I'm sometimes never about to I let. All right, sorry, go. I have a different <laughs> opinion about it. No, because sometimes people can see. A, I agree with her to an extent, but sometimes people can see things from a different perspectives that you don't see. So I can understand both angles of it. But if it's controlling in a sense of like, I gotta let them go for what? What are you doing? Like what? Like what's the reason? You like know your friend. Saying? Huh? Like, let your friend go? Yeah, like, for what? Like, what's... Yeah. Ha, has Have they disrespected you? Have they disrespected me? What's really, like, why do you First feel this all, way? First of all, I am never going to cut off one of my friends, especially somebody who's going to be in my wedding. That's a real friend. Yeah. I'm never weird. cutting off one of my friends for a man. Y'all going to have to figure it out. But sometimes people don't understand circumstances, situations, she from the relationships. South. She from the South, y'all. She got different uh, views on things like that. I, uh, <laughs> She a real hold it down P.O.P. I'm not like that. You're going to respect my friends and they're going to respect First you. First of all, and that's the end my of friends it. are going to respect my relationship and my relationship is going to respect my friendships. Yeah. Because if you understand me, you know that both are equally important. Yeah, but if a man is just like, you know, how we just talked about how on Real Housewives of Atlanta, she was like, oh, yeah. oh, my sister tried to say my husband was controlling. And then he banned her from the house for three years. Yeah, no, that's... That's controlling. That's, that's controlling. That's you, controlling. That's not, uh, what's her name? Drew. Drew Sonora. Yeah, no, that's... Sorry, baby, that's Drew. Controlling that's controlling. controlling. Why is no your, way. Yeah, why is your your husband saying your sister can't come to your house for three years? I yeah, don't care if she said no. anything. But she was like, she made some accusations about him. She said something about him. Okay, it's not like she done set your house on fire. Like, yeah, come on, now, no, y'all can work that out. My sister's coming. You gonna figure something out yeah. at that point. But Because at the end of the day, it's just like, yeah, this is my blood. This is my family. And, and also, I, the relationships that you want to be in, you want to be with somebody who loves your friends and family as well and respects them as well. You don't want to be with somebody who tries to come in and, you know, separate you from anybody, even if it doesn't seem yeah, intentional. Yeah, no, because that's, that's a sign. That's toxic as well. That's manipulative yeah. and that is controlling. Because at the end of the day, it's like... Why you got all these problems with my friends? Yeah, it's very weird. What's like what is the problem? Yeah, no. Let's get to it. That's not that's not flying over here. I'm sorry. So yeah, no. So what did they say? What was the advice of that? Of like what do you say to that? 
He wanted to know if his man was being controlling. Yeah, it's a little controlling. Yeah, he's being controlling, baby. You should think about that wedding. At least get a prenup. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's being controlling, but honestly, under, find the root of it. Understand what's really going on. Because honestly, sometimes when people have these issues, it's probably deep-rooted and it's something that you have no idea about. Yeah. So, so just figure it out and from it's, that point. it's your job for to have them kind of talk it out and work it out and go to your man and say, y'all will be getting along. Exactly. And Period. at the end of the day, which I will say something else, because at the end of the day, you're not going to be sleeping in bed with your friends either. So people are mm -hmm. looking at it from that standpoint, too. It's just like I'm not about to be cuddled up with my friends for the rest of my life. So it is like my relationship is important as well. OK, your relationship is important when you are married. Look, look, but listen, your your relationship is they're getting married. Getting, yeah, getting. They're getting married. But should you be getting married to somebody who is trying to push you away from your friends like that? No, you should not. Yeah, like what's the reason? If you are married, that, that what's is the different. Reason? But if you, if that is your boyfriend, uh, are you dumb? You could break up tomorrow. Come but on now, he, They're real. getting married. They He engaged. That's, he's a fiance. No, I know, but maybe he shouldn't. Okay, no, don't listen to that. Understand, understand and find the root of the issue and really d dig deep to figure out what's really going on because it's obviously something underlying that's going on. Yeah. And at the end of the day, how I feel, your friends will be there and your friends are important. Your friends are imperative. They're detrimental to your livelihood and your life. Mm -hmm. But... Me and Chai have very different opinions on this, obviously, but it's okay. How do we have de different no, opinions? No, I'm just saying, because oh. you're cause you're just like, Because you I'm know, like, it's, it's this is the person you got to live with, you got person you got to live with. with. So and you got to understand what's going on. And if and yeah. if it's not a, a complete understanding, then it's just like, okay, now no. we got to look at it from a different angle. But you got to under you got to figure out, are they just a psycho? Or are they insecure? Yeah. What's really going on? No, I understand that. But my perspective is always that I stand by is don't cut off friends for a relationship because you never know when it could end and then you may oh, end yeah. up with no, nobody. No, I agree with that because okay. your friends, yeah. no, I no, I 1,000% agree with that because your friends are going to be there. <laughs> You're hot? I'm so hot. I'm She's sweating. over here sweating Your balls, friends are going to be there to cry and you can't tell your man how he getting on your nerves. Yeah. You can't talk to your man about how he bothering you or how he doing this now. What do you mean you can't tell your man that? No, you can't, like, I'm not, I can't vent to my man about how he annoying me. Like, I can vent to my friends, but it's, uh, everything's a fine Yeah, line. anyways, okay, look, the, uh, we, not we Anyways, up. oh yeah, we do gotta we wrap, have it to up wrap this, this up. And she's over here sweating bullets. She's probably drunk right now. That's <laughs> no, this is what you need to do, Corey. <laughs> Listen, we're wrapping it up. They ain't gonna never give us no you more advice. You guys can obviously tell who handles their liquor better. Oh please, look at you sweating up a sweat. <laughs> it's hot in here. Y'all don't have the AC on. <laughs> Hello. It affects, I knew it. Okay, we're going to wrap this up, guys. She's starting to talk to the damn sound guy. Like, okay, we're going to wrap this up today, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in with our second episode of Behind the Likes. Thank you for the first episode. We just appreciate you guys so much. Please make sure you send your advice into Behind the Likes pod, pod. on Instagram. Send it to the DM, and we will make sure to answer the most interesting story. Don't be making up a lie either. Tell the real we story. Know. Yeah, we, we, know. we could tell. But um, yeah, bye. Bye. We appreciate you tuning in next week.